the age of the universe is 13.8 billion years. Now, we Homo sapiens arrived in the right time to figure that out, to see cosmic background radiation, and to realize that the universe inflated. Blue shift and red shift in galaxies are also an indicator of the beginning. So, because of that, we have a pretty good idea of what happened. Now, the age of our universe to us seems uncomprehendable, but there are still trillions upon trillions of years awaiting before stars die out. Really, thinking about it relatively, we are here just at the beginning of our universe. So then, what happens when our universe ends, and if it ends? Well, there are many theories, but the most reasonable ones are that either the process of expansion will reverse, and the universe will collapse on itself because of gravity. That is called the Big Crunch. But now we are seeing that the more likely scenario is that the universe won't collapse on itself, but rather that it would continue to expand even when the last light goes out. It's called the Big Freeze. Slowly as stars die out in the far future, there would be less and less energy, meaning no heat should be left at one point in the whole universe. So later, likely billions or trillions of years, as everything is expanding, galaxies will begin to be further away from each other. Their luminosity will dim out after a trillion years, so much to the point where from one galaxy, not a single other galaxy would be visible. Rather, a black void would be present, as galaxies are so far away from each other. So, if some intelligent civilization is there, it would be quite hard for them to puzzle out what is going on around them. Are there more galaxies? When did it all start? All the indications would be almost hidden. They would not have the privilege that we have in our time to see all the clues that point to the beginning of time. Rather, it would be quite a mysterious scenario for them. But let's go even more into the future, where even stars are going to die out, and only a few of them are going through their main life cycle. Now, this is barely possible to calculate when is it going to happen as we don't even know what is beyond the observable universe. So there may be lots of hidden galaxies, but let's say from 1 trillion to 100 trillion years will form, but after that there should be no new stars. Now after that time, some stars will die out and become black dwarfs, while others may continue. So let's say somehow an intelligent species arises right at the end of star formations, when most of the other stars would be long dead and only a few new have formed. So this new star spews out material and creates a few planets, and on one of them, after a couple of billion years, intelligent life arises. During the night on their planet, they would not have fascinating views with the luminosity of their galaxy in the background. There would be barely any stars, and if they don't have a big bright moon, that means that the night would be almost pitch black, with just a couple of stars in the sky. And those stars would almost always be a type of a dwarf star, not very bright and likely many light years away. Now those aliens could develop a lot of theories as to what those bright dots in the night sky are, but as they would be barely noticeable we don't even know if the aliens would even care as much. But if curiosity is something they have, they would always wonder about what is going on beyond their planet. Now we don't actually know how would those last aliens even operate. Would they have some visual system like eyes to even see those stars? It's really barely even imaginable for us humans to know what aliens would be like. But if curiosity is something that drives them and they have some type of eyes, they would always have that unsolved puzzle. That is the puzzle of everything. When did it all start and what is beyond their galaxy? Their galaxy would be essentially their universe. Now after those aliens, the stars will slowly die out one by one, leaving last traces of light in the whole universe where only black holes would be left. They would dominate the whole universe, eating up all the remaining material. But even black holes have their lifetime. They eventually pretty much evaporate through Hawking radiation, although the time for such a thing to even happen is around one Google years, which is one with hundred zeros. That is how many years are left when the black holes should evaporate. After that, photons and electrons and other forms would be flying throughout the whole universe likely never even encountering each other, because the space between them would be so vast. Now, there are two alternative endings. This is just one of them. 
but the actual end of the whole universe is something we likely will never know. So as we can see, we arrived in the right time to puzzle out our universe just a tiny bit and see when was the beginning. And because of the vastness of our universe, it is likely that an intelligent civilization will arise somewhere else in the universe, but they may not arise in the most exciting time.